They call themselves the 400 Mawozo, a criminal gang running amok in Haiti for years. But in the wake of the pandemic, a political assassination, earthquake, and a Haitian people in great despair, they've taken kidnapping now to a whole new level. And no one is safe anymore, not even an eight-month-old child. With us this morning is BNC's chief foreign affairs correspondent, Nayara Huck. Nayara, the gang behind the abductions, the 400 Mawozo, their name comes from Creole, translates into 400 simpleton or inexperienced men. Uh, we're talking about rape, assassinations, extortions. How do we get here? Mm -hmm. Haiti has unfortunately and from gone from crisis to crisis. They have not had an election in five years, multiple corrupt governments, and the result has been that people do not feel safe and secure. It has been an environment ripe for gang control and gang violence. This group that you mentioned, the Morozo, they actually control most of the territory east of the capital. Uh, and so when missionaries came in, uh, white missionaries, without any discussion with the local power structures, without any security of their own, they were essentially sacrificial lambs for this group that is looking to consolidate its power and make money. Uh, we've seen this group uh, kidnap priests and nuns just in the last year. So this is not unusual. What is unusual is a level of international attention coming for this specific set of kidnappings. You know, we're talking about 17 people kidnapped. 16 of them are American, one is Canadian. It's an Ohio-based Christian ministries group. As I indicated, I have actually been to that particular compound. Among them, though, five children, including an eight-month-old child. It's kind of hard to fathom, but this isn't the first case in a line of kidnappings throughout Haiti's history with gangs. Who else has, have they targeted? They actually target all sorts of local officials uh, and anybody uh, who seems connected to communities and, or connected to some kind of money. So, uh, you know, representatives of the Catholic Church, because they know that there is a church network behind them based overseas that would help. Uh, they have kidnapped uh, local leaders, local elected officials, uh, local prominent citizens. It's gotten so bad uh, that members of uh, the Haitian community have started striking stopped going to work. They are protesting in the street, demanding that their government take back control and make it safe for people to go to work again. This is the question that everybody's asking me, and I don't know the answer to it, and I don't know if you know the answer to it. But we're talking about a gang, 400 people. It reminds me of the situation in Somalia with Black Hawk Down. So many people are saying, why can't the United States just swoop in and take out 400 gang members and, and rescue these people. Your thoughts? Mm. Uh, the idea of U.S. military intervention in Haiti is not new, and it actually has a very uh, deep and complex and negative history and association. So uh, there, there's times in U.S. history uh, where the United States has put boots on the ground and helped topple governments and then bring governments back in. Yet. Haiti continues to struggle. So the idea is now, given how the United States failed at nation building in Iraq, failed at nation building in Afghanistan, that it should probably not be trying to do nation building in its own backyard. And that means in this situation that toppling a gang and taking them out of power would require then the military to actually stay and fix uh, the consequences of that. That is not something that the United States public has an appetite for, and it's certainly not something uh, that the people of Haiti want to see is U.S. military involved. This is ultimately a challenge for strengthening the other power structures and other political systems in Haiti. Uh, there may be something the United States can do on that. At the moment, the United States is limiting itself to uh, offering investigatory support uh, and support to potentially right. rescue these kidnapping victims. Yeah, that other power, diplomacy. Nayara Huck, our chief foreign affairs correspondent. Nayara, as always, thank you very much.